How can you treat cachexia in cancer? My name is Harleen Marwa, an editorial fellow at NEJM, and this is 60 Second Journal Club. The NEJM recently published the first RCT of a drug, ponsegramab, that looked to do just that. A stress cytokine, growth differentiation factor 15, or GDF15, has been found to be elevated in cachexia. So what if we could target GDF15? Would this improve cancer cachexia? Ponsegramab is a humanized monoclonal antibody, which binds to GDF15, preventing its signaling. This phase two trial included 187 patients with cachexia due to non-small cell lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, or colorectal cancer. Participants were randomized to receive three doses of ponsegramab or placebo via subcutaneous injection every four weeks. The primary endpoint was change from baseline body weight at week 12. The ponsegramab treatment group had an increased weight at 12 weeks and there appeared to be a dose response. The higher the dose, the higher the weight gain. In addition, GDF15 levels were suppressed at 12 weeks in those receiving ponsegramab. Patients treated with ponsegramab reported better appetite and had increased physical activity and quality of life scores. The most common side effects were diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting and those occurred more commonly in patients treated with placebo. These findings support the hypothesis that GDF15 is a primary driver of cachexia and establish the cytokine as a potential therapy target for further evaluation in clinical trials.